Minecraft, but I can only build with the color purple. Last week I did this challenge with the color pink. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure to go check it out and let me know in the comments which color you're most excited to see me do next. Just like last time, we're gonna let a wheel spin make some choices for us. So let's go spin to see what we get. First up is plot size. Are we gonna get a tiny 10 by 15 plot size or a large 30 by 30 plot size? 20 by 20. I can work with that. Next, we get to find out how many rooms are gonna be in this house. Last time I got 10, so let's see what we get this time. The wheel has been spun, and it's gonna pick eight. I like that number. That's a good number. But now, what will each room be? Since we got eight rooms, that means we have to spin eight times. And it looks like our first room is a bedroom. Our next room is gonna be a plant room. Our third room is gonna be an enchanting room. The fourth room is gonna be another plant room. Why do we always get plant rooms? I mean, I'm not complaining. I love plant rooms, but come on. This is our fifth wheel spin. No more duplicates. I'm only accepting one this time. Our fifth room is gonna be a storage room. Okay, for our sixth room, we're gonna get a kitchen. Our seventh room is gonna be a bathroom. And our final room is going to be a living room. This is gonna be fun. We got some different options than last time, besides the two plant rooms. <laughs> we did get two plant rooms last time. But this time we actually have a bathroom, a living room, and an enchanting room. Now that we know what rooms are gonna be in the house, it's time to find out how many floors it'll be. Please don't be five. Please don't be five. Three. Hmm, that's not awful. But now our final spin will tell us what the exterior style of the house will be. Our purple house is gonna be built in a cute style. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, it's time to build a 20 by 20 three story home with eight rooms that looks cute. This house is adorable. Does it remind you of anything? If you know, you know. And if you do know, then let me know your guess in the comments below. But yeah, so this is the exterior of our super cute two-toned pastel purple house. I used some striped purple blocks, some dotted purple blocks. We have some beautiful star windows, and we have two entrances. I was able to fit this house in the 20 by 20 space that the wheel chose, only slightly getting close to the border on the front here and the back like last time. So as you enter the house, you'll see on the left side, we have more stairs to get upstairs. That way you can get upstairs from the inside and don't always have to go outside. Next to the stairs, I marked this area out as the storage room. And across from this, I marked this space as the bathroom. But now that I'm looking at it, I think I might swap those two. Let's just change this to storage and this to bathroom. Over here, we have the kitchen area. Then there's a space over here and a space over here with a star window that I was thinking could both be plant rooms. Then as we go upstairs, on the left, we have a room that could be for enchanting. This big open area could be the living room. And then this will be the bedroom. Just to clarify, I know the wheel spun for a three level house. So I'm counting this bedroom area as the third floor because I was gonna build a basement, but I forgot that I was playing in a flat world and I can only dig down three blocks. So instead of digging down, I built up a little bit. Okay, well now that you've seen the empty house tour, it's time to decorate. Starting with the storage room, even though this is a very small space, I think I could still make it look cute. First, we need some of these cupboards. Then I found these really cute purple crates that we could use since I don't have any purple chests. I could put another crate over here. And then in the middle, we could add some of these kitchen drawers that actually open. Look. Ta -da! Wait, did you see that? It was so fast. Ta -da! But on top of these cupboard closet type pieces, I was thinking we could add a bunch of these shelves going all the way across. We could add some purple item frames to the back wall. And then I wanna display a bunch of purple stuff. Now I know this entryway is not on the list of rooms to decorate, 
but I can't just leave it empty. We could just add a fun little carpet. Then against this wall, we could add a table with a plant, a purple potion, a purple lamp, and we could add a purple wall decoration. Then to give the space just a little more detail, I wanna add some slabs over the doorway with some fences. Now for the bathroom, because we have like three different nooks, I was thinking that that could be perfect for three different bathroom things. So in this nook, we could add a sink with a mirror. In this area, we can use some trap doors to make a purple tub. And then through this doorway, I was thinking that we could add some kind of little getting ready vanity area. For this tub, we're gonna have to fill it up with some water. Then this purple button could be the spout where the water comes out. For the toilet, we can use an upside down stair with the trap door. This button could be the toilet paper. <laughs> and then I want to get rid of this torch, add a purple light to the ceiling, and then we could add some fuzzy purple carpets. Now for the kitchen, I want to use these really cute counters that I found. Normally I would use these ones from the Mr. Crayfish furniture mod, but these ones are so adorable. I, basically, if you don't know, in the texture pack that I use, crimson is this light purple color. And this is what a crimson stem looks like. So the outside is light brown with these purple speckles and the inside is purple and that's what makes the planks. And the mod that I'm using for some furniture pulled those colors and made this. So we have the purple planked siding of the counter with the cute little polka dots on top. Now obviously this entire wall can't just be counters. In the middle we can add our sink. On the left we could add this cupboard that I'm pretending is a refrigerator. And then on the right I want to add a furnace but because it's not purple we're going to camouflage it with trap doors. Above the counter, I wanna add a bunch of cabinets. And then again, I wanna take more of these counters to make an island. Above the island, I wanna make those pretty lights that I did at the pink house. So we could start by adding some purple posts and then we could hang these purple lanterns. Cause I don't really have any purple food. I found whatever this is in my hand. So I'm just going to place down this clear item frame and pretend that it's some kind of purple snack. For some added decoration, we could pretend that this purple pillow is like a dishcloth or something. And then we can add some purple plants. Speaking of plants, it's time to decorate the plant room. Since this room is smaller than that room, I was thinking that we could just add two chairs for a tiny seating area, and then we can fill the rest of the room up with plants. Before we do that though, I do wanna add a bit of this to the floor. Then we can add some flower pots here. And then because all of my crimson nether stuff is this light purple color, the weeping vines look like this. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> they got little purple mushrooms on them. Oh, you know what else we need? Purple petal particle effects from the purple blossom leaves. We can just hang a bunch like this on the ceiling. We should see. <gasps> The petals falling! Adorable. But okay, now in these plant pots, I was thinking we could add some crimson fungus, this pretty lavender plant, this blossom sapling, and some crimson roots. For the other plant room, I was thinking about adding a little desk area to the space, and I found this adorable piece of furniture that I really want to use and turn into a desk somehow, like that. In front of the desk, we can have a stool. Above the desk, we can add a bunch of trap doors to be shelves for plants. We can add some more shelves for plants in these corners. And I kind of really want to add a grass carpet. Look at how cute that is! <laughs> I may have gotten a little carried away with the amount of plants that I put in this room, but it looks so pretty. Imagine working at this desk every day. You could just sit here surrounded by all the plants. It probably smells amazing. Just don't think about all the bugs that are probably in here. <laughs> For the enchanting room, I obviously want to add a lot of bookshelves, but because mine aren't exactly purple, I first want to add a bunch like this. Actually, wait, look, there are some purple books on these bookshelves. Never mind. But I want to make them more purple. So let's just stack up a few like this. And then on top of them, we could use this frame trap door to make it look like the tops are purple. That actually looks kind of cute. But now you've probably noticed that I didn't put purple tops on all of the bookshelves. That's because we need to have space for purple purple candles. And then I was thinking on this shelf, we could have a purple item frame with an enchanted book because the book itself may not be purple, but the enchantment kind of is. Now, obviously this isn't an enchantment room without an enchanting table. So let's place this down in the middle of the room. Maybe we can add some carpet and cushions to sit on. And then we can add some more hanging vines. Over in the living room, I added a new window because I did not like the plain wall that was here. <laughs> I 
also added a light above the stairs. And I didn't show you this, but earlier I added an armor stand by the front door with some purple armor on it just because, um, I don't know, I thought it was cool. <laughs> but anyway, back to the living room. I wanna put a sofa right in front of the star window. And then across from this sofa, we can have two smaller sofas. Behind the sofa, I wanna add some tables. That way we can add a purple lamp and another purple plant. Surrounding the star window, I wanna add a bunch of these purple bookshelves. We can add some cushions on the floor. And then on the ceiling, we can add some more purple lights. Also, just like I did to the door downstairs, I want to add a little more detail by adding some slabs and fences. Previously in the bedroom, this window did not exist and neither did this indent, but I added those two things because symmetry. <laughs> Though obviously this block right here is actually the ceiling to the room next door, so I can't have two windows. But that's okay, we could use it for something else. Starting with the bed, we can use some wool as a headboard. Obviously, we're gonna be using a purple bed. Then because I like to hide the legs of the bed, we're just gonna surround it with some slabs and change these to wool. On either side of the bed, I wanna add these two dressers. That way we can have some lamps. Surrounding the bed, we could add some carpet. In this area across from the window, we could just add a couple more plants. And then over here in these awkward corners, I was thinking that we could add two of these kind of closet pieces. And then for fun, we could add some banners. It's done! The purple house building challenge is complete. Let's go on a tour. Starting on the bottom floor, we have the entryway that just has a few little decorations to fill out the space. On the right, we have our storage room, which is so small, but it's also really cute. Across from the storage room, we have the bathroom, and yes, I know that you can see through the door into the bathroom, which we're pretending it's a solid purple door. But anyway, in the bathroom, we have a sink over here with a mirror. We have a toilet, a tub that I actually don't think I could get in. Can, can I? I'm gonna make this work. What if I just... <laughs> it works! Okay, get me out of here. Next to the tub, we have this cute little getting ready vanity area. And that's about it for the bathroom. Over in the kitchen, we have some beautiful hanging purple lights. An island with a mystery purple snack on the table. Then we have the usual kitchen stuff, like some cabinets, counters, a fridge, and a sink. To the right of the kitchen, we have a really pretty plant room with a giant star window. Then across from there, we have another plant room. But this one has a cool fuzzy grass carpet rug, a million plants, and a desk. Then if we go upstairs, the first room on the left is our enchanting room. And I did add a dragon head to the space because, well, he's got some purple bits. And I also just think it looks really cool in here. If we keep going this way, we'll enter the living room with our couches and our books. This is the other way that she would get outside. And then up here, we have the bedroom. Okay, well, that's everything for this challenge video. Let me know in the comments what room was your favorite and if you're new make sure to subscribe